I remember jumping in the dinghy. I had a couple coconut waters in my board, and I was like, sweet, I'm just going to sit in the dinghy. And it wasn't long after that. I was like, huh, this wave's going to land on us. I did a turn, and then I pulled into the barrel, and I was inside of the barrel, and I, I looked in over my shoulder out of the barrel, and I could see the, the dinghy inside of me. And I was just like, oh man, like I hope they're getting the shot. That's a pretty sick angle. Tossed my board, and then I just jumped overboard, and that's when I just watched them like puncture through like a six foot barrel and go straight up in the air and land upside down. I thought the worst, I just started bolting over there. Everyone came up. The main thing was like, yeah, is everyone okay? And they all were, and then we just had the biggest laugh ever. And then we all paddled up onto the beach and we all just sat on the beach. I was like, okay, all right, what do we do now? <laughs> He's such a veteran, man. He claimed to the back right corner, the most mellow, mellow little part you can have on the whole boat. Real nice cushion. It was about like a 40 foot futon. So I was in the far back right corner. Everything I needed was just all in this little area. It was a really good vantage point. It was good for people who get seasick like me. Everyone kind of knew out of respect not to go to the king spot. Rob's super mellow. He wouldn't fly her up, but like he would definitely give you a look. Probably the most beautiful part of Endo I've ever seen. The most alive, really green everywhere. Like, You know, it was a great adventure and I wouldn't change anything. We had a great time, we made it home safely. I still think about it all the time, you know, like that was a great trip. 